Okay, in a previous video, I was demonstrating how to do delay throws, and I really enjoyed doing that. Now you can use Elastic Audio to change the tempo of your whole Pro Tools project in one foul swoop. So how do we do this? First, we need to enable Elastic Audio on all the tracks we're working on. So you just go to the clock icon here on each track. And instead of samples, we're going for ticks like so. So you get the metronome icon. And if we do that, now we're working with Elastic Audio. So how exactly does Elastic Audio work? Well, we can choose many different ways of doing it. We've got Polyphonic, rhythmic, monophonic, and vary speed. Now, polyphonic and rhythmic are good for instruments. Monophonic is much better for speech. And vary speed, well, simply it will pitch shift you one way or the other. So it will be very noticeable. I'm going to go for monophonic uh, just for this example on both tracks, this track and this track. Now, you'll hear the original track is my delay throw. Sounds good. This is a delay throw in Pro Tools. Pro Tools. That sounded pretty good, but now if I go ahead and change the tempo up here by clicking plus next to tempo and go for 120 BPM, it's automatically going to snap everything to 120. This is a delay throw in Pro Tools. Pro Tools. And obviously you can hear a little bit of a stretch going on there, but it's a pretty clever algorithm. If I make it faster, like 135, that'll be mega fast. Let's listen to the difference now. Everything's snapping in time again. This is a delay throw in Pro Tools. Pro Tools. And I can choose different kinds of elastic audio, so I can choose polyphonic for the instrument. This is a delay throw in Pro Tools. Pro Tools. And i got to say that sounds much more natural because we've got now an instrument-based stretch on the music and a vocal stretch uh, on the vocals, which is just what we'd want when we're using Elastic Audio. And then if you really want to check that Elastic Audio is working, well, just go and click into the very speed mode and have a listen to this. This is a delay throw in Pro Tools. Pro Tools. It's done a good job, but I'm definitely sounding chipmunk-like. And if I go up to, say, 158... This is a delay throw in Pro Tools. Pro Tools. <laughs> you can definitely hear the difference. Elastic audio, it stretches and squashes your audio, uh, and it does it really well. Uh, best thing about Pro Tools, unlike some other audio editors, is that you can do individual stretches for individual channels, and you can choose what suits each piece of audio. So if you've got an instrument, well, definitely go for the uh, polyphonic or something like that. Go for monophonic on vocals. Go for vary speed if you want to be chipmunk or demonic or something like that. It's all possible and all within a few clicks of your mouse. If you've got any questions, let me know. And I'm guessing you're really enjoying these um, videos. So why not go back and watch my delay throw video? And then you'll learn exactly how I did the delay throw that you heard in this video right here.